Hey there, everybody. Welcome to our preview for The Blacklist, Season 8, Episode 11. Mm -hmm. Arr, did you hear that <laughs> Captain Kidd is coming around the corner? Captain Kidd is the most pirate-named blacklister of all time. It is, and you got to bust out your pirate, which you love. Avast! Alexander Kirk, okay. where are ye? Okay, all, no. All right, wrap it up. There's no more, okay. <laughs> I will not use the pirate voice for at least another week because guess what? We have another week to go until Captain Kidd surfaces and sails the high seas on the show. I don't know if he's actually a sailor. Reddington used to be. He used to be, but we wanted to have something today since there is no Blacklist tonight. So we thought that we would preview what is coming up next time. All right, well, before we dive into any of this, if you guys enjoy this preview, no more pirate voice, don't stop watching, be sure to subscribe. That is not a promise. There might be. There might be. I might wait a little bit, but you know what? After this episode wraps up when it airs next week, we will be here to talk all about it. We, we don't want you guys to miss out on that. And there will probably be pirate voice when it airs in our review. <laughs> You sound so excited about this. You're just like, N -n 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 well, everyone loves pirates. This is official. It's true. Okay, so let's talk <laughs> about this promo first. We are also going to talk about Megan Boone's Instagram and something that was posted there. We'll also talk about, you know, sort of the photos that have been released. Yeah. Stuff like that. But this promo is very interesting because they have been building sort of all season this back and forth with Cooper and Reddington and sort of this, we're sharing halfsies. No, we're not sharing anymore. And now we have everything with the drive. Cooper has a drive. He has seen what's on the drive. Reddington's been sort of given this order to take care of Cooper. They both know stuff. And now it looks like it's sort of coming to a head. This is like the, this is the slice of the metaphorical steak I have been waiting to get. Like, I'm hungry, guys. Sorry. But, you know, I've been waiting to get this slice for like a couple episodes now. And it's like, finally, they're bringing over the platter and it's got all the good stuff on it. Like, this looks delicious. Finally, Reddington, Cooper, who is going to win? I don't know if we're <laughs> going to get an answer <laughs> in this episode. No. Oh. Probably not. I mean, we saw, you know, Cooper confronting Reddington about selling secrets. And so it makes me kind of wonder if Cooper only sort of has some of the information because it hasn't ever been really clear if N13 is selling secrets or he's a spy and he's just gathering secrets and he's not selling them, but he's gathering them. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe Cooper has more information than we know right now, or if he's kind of playing with half information. I think my, my guess is Harold is a little bit in the weeds on some of this stuff where it's like, okay, He's got the drive that Liz handed over. I, I would presume that, given that it's been weeks since we saw this storyline, really, he's probably had it translated. He's probably got a crack team of people on it. Clearly, you know, he knows that Reddington's thumbprint opened it up. Mm -hmm. so all of that is very, very clear. But Cooper, despite all of his many magnificent skills, he does not possess the ability to read minds. And I think given that Reddington runs a business-related empire. I, I, I can understand why he would maybe jump to a conclusion that the purpose here is financial. For sure. I mean, that would make sense. That is, you know, Reddington is selling stuff and buying stuff and running a criminal empire. So it does make sense that that's where his mind would go. And all he really knows is what is on this drive. So if he knows that there are secrets on the drive, what else would he be doing with them? I mean, maybe Cooper doesn't want to go as sort of dark as it could go, that he is taking information from, you know, the American government and selling it to somebody else or giving it to somebody else. He doesn't want to just go that dark. So then maybe he's thinking that he's like, oh, he's just selling it to some of his other criminal <laughs> friends. I... I'm going to posit something here because the word that has just been stuck in my head ever since the Cyranoid is control. And I think this is what it's really about with Reddington to some extent. He gets to control the information. He gets yeah. to sort of dictate, okay, 
I will give Russia this, but I won't give Russia that because to go along with your theory that he's a double-double agent, he doesn't want them to have everything, and I think nobody <laughs> else really understands. Reddington just likes having the power. He likes being able to dictate what is going on. He's the master storyteller, and this is his story. Yeah, and I'm really sort of curious what Reddington's play is going to be because if my theory is playing out that he's sort of this double-double agent, he's been trying to funnel some information back to Russia, enough to sort of keep them at bay. I think that that's a lot of why he set up this task force, sort of turned himself in, was able to then be like, hey, so I'm in here now. I'm able to get information but isn't really giving them enough which is why they've now shown up being like now all right we're <laughs> at this point now that it needs to be a little bit something else so how much is he really gonna tell cooper probably nothing yeah. because <laughs> i mean this feels like this is the secret that he has been keeping from Liz. He is keeping it from everybody. He's not going to then all of a sudden be like, ah, I've been keeping it from Liz for eight seasons, <laughs> but I'll tell you today, Cooper. Yeah, Cooper is going to be the one all of a sudden. There, yeah. This is a new segment I'm going to entitle... The clutch your dog moment oh. of the promo where you need, yeah, Coco. <laughs> having a yawn. Coco's very, very excited about this video, everyone. Obviously, you're so into this, I just woke you up. But see, the clutch your dog moment in this promo is when Reddington tells Cooper, you gotta let this go. And Cooper is like, is that a threat? You oh, no. Oh, no. No. And that's the thing is that, I mean, it's not, I don't think that he's actually going to kill Cooper. Yeah. I just, I, I think if it really came down to it and he had to, he probably would. And I know that that's probably going to have you guys mad at me in the comments, but I think that if my theory is correct, then this is bigger than Reddington and whoever has to go to be able to continue to protect what he's trying to protect unfortunately it would have to happen and it's not something i think he wants to do that's why yeah. i think red is like let it go like you need to let it go i don't need it to get to this point that i have to take you out yeah because his other option is what is he gonna take out his friend from the east and i don't know if i think once again if it's his end game maybe he would but i think he's gonna try everything imaginable to avoid that yeah for sure Let's talk briefly about the Blacklister because the synopsis indicates that Captain Kidd be... Okay, no. All right. See, there you go. I, I did it one more time. No, the task force is attempting to stop an abduction by searching for a treasure man. And I have to assume that Captain Kidd is the treasure man. Could be. Is Captain Kidd... I don't know. I have a picture in my head now that like he was in the background in Cape May with like one of those like metal detectors looking for the gold in the sand or something. Yeah, maybe. But apparently this person's like geocaching to hide some sort of like crazy goods and mm -hmm. make transactions. It's like we we've seen variations of like this stuff before we on have, the blacklist. We have. I mean, it, it's only gonna be more fun if he wears a pirate hat or something else. Like you know, come on, make him original. Okay. If they don't, maybe we should get a pirate hat and you have to wear it. <laughs> Do you want me to wear a pirate hat in a video? Let us know in the comments. But let's let's get into the Liz, because this is the stuff people probably really want to know about. Yeah, okay. So the photos coming up for this episode, she's not in any no. of them. Okay. That So it seems like we're going to be having another episode coming up that she is not going to be in. However, when you go to her Instagram, there is a video up that she took of sort of like, hey, everybody, look at the birds. And that was supposed to be the focus of the video. But really, the focus of the video is down this walkway are all these trailers like she's back at work. And yeah, yeah the, it's possible that she's working on something else but it is highly <laughs> unlikely she is likely back at set see this is the thing like I, i'm i'm firmly in the camp now that this whole absence from megan has been for story reasons and you know, megan's a smart person she knows that every single instagram post she has made in the better part of the past like five weeks all of her replies are when are you coming back when are you coming back like this is her saying i'm back without actually saying i'm back 
No, I agree. She She's letting the cat out of the bag. She is back. I just, the question is obviously when exactly she's going to be back. I feel like it's going to be at some <laughs> point over the next few episodes. I don't think they're waiting until the finale and then it's like, oh, here's Liz again. No, I feel that if she's posting this, that she's back on set now, it's going to be, yeah, a couple more episodes and she'll be back. But that's fine. We at least know that she is seemingly coming back. We can rest assured of that. But let's hear all of your Captain Kid theories in the... cause like a pseudo-pirate voice. But give us all your theories for this episode in the comments. <laughs> I am and... now really looking forward to doing the review oh, with you. It's going to be all pirate, Matt. <laughs> Uh, this is. The, what if he's not a pirate? What if Captain Kidd is just like you some? You can still be the pirate. I do want to be a pirate. This is like I know it. This is like that anti that Seinfeld episode where he's like, I don't want to be a pirate. Like I want to be a pirate. Okay, let us know what you guys want in this episode. And if you do like this video, I can't believe I've mentioned pirates this much. If you, I can. You're right. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. More updates Arr. are coming. All right, see, now you're a pirate, too. You've joined in. It's a pirate's life for us. Oh, dear. <laughs> if you want to support us more, check the links to the store, our Patreon, and we will see you here next time.